Hey, Passport Kings, what's up? This is Rockland. Yo, today on Passport Kings, I'm going to give you the top five countries that U.S. women travel to to do things that they know they ain't supposed to be doing. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Now, first and foremost, if a chick is single, then that's their business. They can actually go anywhere and do whatever the they want to do. But if these chicks are in a relationship and they come to you with their passport in one hand and their ticket in the other hand and a whole bunch of girlfriends packed and ready to go, they're up to no good. And if they say they're going to one of these five places, you better start writing some divorce papers. <laughs> Yo, so before I get this countdown started, I wanted to let you know if you are an African-American dude or just an American dude, and you're looking for a great American chick that travels a lot, <laughs> go to one of these five countries. They'll be there. And, and it'll be some of the best chicks you'll find for the simple fact that they're well-traveled. And if you're a traveling guy, it's always great to find someone that is doing something that you love doing anyway, because you guys will get along very well. Have you gotten into travel hacking? If not, you certainly should. Don't pay full prices for flights when other people are not. You may think it's a badge of honor to stay loyal to one company, but if they're charging their newer customers a lot less than they're charging you, you're the only loyal one. Why put extra money in a fat cat's pockets? You could save that money for your loved one. So check out the travel hacking site that I left in the description below. People are literally saving thousands of dollars on flights abroad. All right, so number five is the UK, London to be exact. That's where Idris Elba came from. The food is great. The buildings look exactly like how they do in Oliver or Mary Poppins. And for avid readers, this city has as many billboards for new books as they have for new movies. The prices of things in regular stores is almost comical. They're so high that only the riches of the rich could possibly live a decent life here. And if she's one of those girls who follow trends, every time a new one comes out, there's always a new trend to check out in London. Number four is France. Or as they say, France. This was actually a toss up between France and Switzerland because there is a lot more money flowing in Switzerland. But since the Sex in the City movie where the main character married a guy in France, France has been all the rave for women who live vicariously through that movie or fantasize about some rich white guy coming to save them. Number three is the USA. I know this may sound weird, but if your chick is always moving around to like Miami, New York, North Carolina, California, then you might have something to worry about. She's chasing something and it might not be you. When it comes to musicians, actors, rappers, athletes, even doctors and lawyers, the biggest tricks around always seem to gather around in the USA. And you know, wherever there's a bunch of tricks, there's always gonna be a bunch of women pretending to be whatever they think men want at the time to try to find their come up. Number two, Jamaica. There's a reason why Stella chose Jamaica to go find that groove that she lost. <laughs> Just bringing up Jamaica makes women blush. And Jamaica does have some poor spots, but there are also some very nice places in Jamaica. But these last two places, they're not really going there because of the money. And no, that's not a gun in his pocket. He's really actually very happy to see her. Bumba clot. Pause. All right, so number one is Ghana. I mean, even the president of Ghana told all the dudes they need to spend all the time that they're spending at the gym at some type of career school. And you know, I'm never the person that would tell somebody not to travel to Africa because Africa does need more tourists. But if your woman and her group of friends are planning this big old trip to Ghana, think to yourself, why are they really going? Ghana is one of the best kept secrets that well-traveled and well-to-do women have been keeping from their men. Those dudes work out 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They think they're slick because they're all tall, dark, and very friendly. These are certainly not your Prince of King coming to America type of Africans. And there's nothing they like more than meeting some American tourist chick and turning her all the way out. Damn near inside out. Don't let chicks lie and say that money is more important than the good looks of a dude. If they're only out to take advantage of dudes, then yeah, maybe money is more important to that chick. But if they got any type of financial stability already on their own, they're lying. 
Yo, one thing I'm gonna really need y'all dudes to do, and that's including myself, is to work out more. Working out is like one of the only, if not the only thing in life that you can actually do that will make such an impact on your life and it's actually 100% free. And a good thing about working out is it brings you a lot of confidence. And that's really what women are looking for. You think that it's because the guys are rich that the girls are, are chasing out them, but actually it's the confidence that comes along with that richness that's making them be so attractive to these women. This is absolutely not me trying to tell you to not become rich. Of course you should be rich. Do whatever it takes to become rich, I don't care. But me, I decided to join the travel industry and you should too. Hey, did you like this video? Well, like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you need to book a trip, and of course, if you wanna make money online so you can travel more, then go to www.passportkings.com. So if she do say she wanna go to one of them five places, put your antennas up. Stay alert like a king of passport king. Peace. Good. And if they say that they take well, ain't nothing wrong with being single these days. It's 2017. What are we gonna talk about?